Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So we did this one this morning. Um, feels like it was yesterday already, but hey, we, we tried to get up with the sun thereabouts, uh, sometimes four something in the morning, sometimes five something. Um, sometimes we sleep into seven o'clock, but this was the one we did in the morning, and I know there's no way it would make it on uh, YT. You know, a lot of people are having problems with YT again, uh, with the big C. The big C. In other words, they're getting things taken down. So did we, um, and I appealed it. This video was taken down, as you see. This was a while ago. This, this, you know, uh, gosh, I don't know, two years ago? Mm -hmm. When was this? I'm, I'm not even sure. You know, again, we do videos every day pretty much. And I think all total we're closing in on somewhere around six or 7,000 videos. Um, and you see, we've reviewed your appeal for the following. We reviewed your content carefully and confirmed that it viol violates our policy on harmful C-O-N-S piracy theories. Whoa. We were just talking about people saying, you know, that they've seen lights from the sky or they've seen some interesting things on radar. And, you know, even if you say that much, at this point in time, uh, it might get pulled. And uh, Patrick, I forget what his name is. Uh, there's another young gentleman that's been doing a lot of uh, videos following a lot of the same stuff that we do uh, into thin air does and and other channels and and he was not posting for a week because he got a strike mm -hmm. and that's what happened to evolutionary evolutionary 20 2020 I would say was down and I could not post videos as much as I uh, of the time as I actually could mm -hmm. right and, and you know and this is why we're out of the conspiracy business and we are just here for entertainment purposes only so uh, yes. we'll just put that out there so everybody knows that everything we say is just completely made up comes from we don't know where and you know maybe it might help some people though yeah, okay so this is in maybe a alternate reality if i get the theme <laughs> she wants to go with like we're looking at an alternate reality yeah. so yeah there we go this may or may not actually happen in your life. Okay, I get it. I think Rex Rex Bear over at Leak Project yeah. used to open like this years yeah. past. Um, I just wanted to mention two channels that I do enjoy. Uh, Future Forecasters, this is definitely a hit. Uh, 835 thumbs up. Uh, this one they just did today. And I guess Cliff High, I think, I know a lot of you guys know Cliff High. We haven't followed Cliff High. I, I watched cliff for a while maybe 2018 2019 a long time ago um but we just get caught up in stuff and and right now we're trying to homestead too so everything is really stressful uh with the scheduling but anyway i guess cliff high was getting that there's gonna be some sort of event uh that might be major july 15th or 16th so these guys remote viewed it and it was this was one of, i mean my mouth was open most of the time and i i kept you know just tapping Cindy saying, look, do you, do you see what these guys are getting? No wonder, uh, you know, the system is panicking. If people could remote view and uncover some of the deepest, darkest things that the system doesn't want uncovered. Uh, can you see this, what he's talking about here? This is Dick. He's saying it affects this big thing. Men seated here control something. It's very big. You know what? It looks like. M O O N. That smells. That smells. That spells Tom Cullen. Do you guys remember the movie The Stand? That was hilarious. Moon. <laughs> I kid you not. You know they were remote viewing some wild stuff here, and and picking up on underground buried things. Uh, you know C O N S. Piracy theories, of course, if it was a different reality, yeah, I think people would say it was, that's exactly what this is. But since we're just doing this for entertainment, 
um, you know, it's 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 got to be just a joke that they're actually seeing things that look like reptilian influence yeah. on the planet. Yes, reptilian influence, uh, and seeing other events that like technology that is literally just levels that would boggle the mind of everybody on the planet besides somebody in that alternate reality that was a cons piracy theorist so i do encourage you guys to check it out um they only give us snippets on yt and to see all the details and the full like two hours or whatever it is um you do have to pay to go to their site to get all the details but just watch this for free for nine minutes and eight seconds and uh, see what you guys think. I mean, it's just fun. It, and in my mind, it's fun. It's super fun that there's so many people that are catching on big time, of course, in that alternate reality, yes. I mean. Yes, we have no clue where this information could have possibly come from. But it is curious what they are picking up, and I, I highly recommend checking it out. Yeah, again, this is Future Forecasters. Uh, and then Christoph, that our uh, friend and family member Peter over in Poland turned us on to. I don't think he's one of those guys either. He's, he's not one of those theorists. But yet he's coming out that he's remote viewing or he's literally reading Putin's mind. And in Putin's mind, he gets that Putin knows Zelensky is just a paid actor. He's planted. And this is he's reading Putin's mind. I think he could. I, I think Kristoff is legit. I think there's a lot of people that could. And the reality is, so does the CIA and the KGB and the FBI and the OSS back in the day and MI6. That's why they have so many people that are trained. We know. <laughs> we know one person for sure that was trained. And he's actually head of uh, Homeland Security right now in one, one particular venue. Oh, he's trained. Yeah, you know, we, we've talked to him about it. Uh, yeah, no, they know it's a reality. They know it's totally a reality. It's, there's, it's just not even debatable. They've, they've put a lot of resources into this. So, yeah, he's also picking up a lot more things, including that they're just waiting um, for China, basically, to be ready to go um, as far as that, that, that war, which is being set up in that alternate reality, of course. Now, this is Rishi Sunak from apparently this reality. Uh, let's listen to him here as he's getting grilled about the conscription. This will be compulsory. The military option will be something that people choose to do. Oh, see, so how will you make people do it? Sorry? If national service is going to be compulsory, how will you make people do it? Well, you'll have a set of sanctions and incentives, and we'll look at the models that are existing around Europe to get the appropriate mix of those. There's a range of different options that exist. There's all sorts of things that people do across Europe, whether that's looking at driving licenses, other access to finance, all sorts of other things. The right thing to do access is... Access to finance? Yes. So if people don't want to do national service, what, you're going to take a bank cards away? No, no, there's, there's access. Ah. There's, there's lots of different models around Europe. There's lots of different models around Europe. This is being done in multiple countries. I don't know, I'm just asking what you... So there's a range of things, and we'll have a World Commission look at all of those, come back to the government and recommend what the appropriate mix of incentives and sanctions is. So you as an individual, you could get incentives or you could be sanctioned, whatever those sanctions may be. Sanctions. Oh, wow. They do that against governments, don't they? So, you know, this goes back to our Patreon uh, video, which is fascinating because, you know, there's there's a lot of things in this alternate reality that are just tied completely together. And when you look down one rabbit hole, if it leads to the other uh, rabbit hole uh, in a certain direction, you may find that, you know, there's answers to everything. So you got Idaho f being, Idaho farmers being fined $300 an acre for using water. There's, there's reasons in this alternate reality for that. And they are declaring bankruptcy. Of course, you know, no water, no crops, no food. What are you going to do? Look to history. You know, look to the Irish potato famine, look to so many other things, look to Haldemore, look to, you know, time and time and time again, 
uh, you know, famines have come. And really, when you look back, it's through, typically in this alternate reality, uh, the actions of the Elites, you know, the royals, the politicians, the ruling class, the dictator. Yeah. And at the same time, there are contracts that have been put in place that are very, very curious. All the information, again, is over on Patreon. And you have a third day of cyber attack, leaving 15,000 owner uh, auto dealerships crippled. This is just interesting. Now, we know uh, that this next phase, and this is also something in this alternate reality, um, just for entertainment, that we can see happened in the past, uh, 2020, you know, for instance, 2019, actually. For us, it started May of 2019. Uh, that's when we reported about events that unknowingly were going to be transpiring about seven months later. And now we understand clearly, in retrospect, uh, why they reacted the way they did. And this is why, again, for entertainment reasons only, they probably acting the way they're doing here. So you take clues about things. Now, this is something because they say we're going back to a La Nina from an El Nino. Well, last time that happened, there was something else that happened in mass. I, I don't know if, you know, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying there's a lot of weird things going on here. Uh, I, I remember this, Love Chevrolet. So they, they've been out for three days. Um, it, it's a cyber attack. It's curious that they're attacking the automotive dealerships. Um, but this next phase probably is going to be centered around a, a couple things, including banking money and the war. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is definitely something that really is very disturbing to me watch, watching this and to see where it's going to go because it's an obvious attack on um, the ability to in, be in mobile. Alternate reality, in course. the alternate reality, it really it makes it difficult to be mobile and um, just hop in your rig and go get something or, you know, even, even do other things. What about companies that are in the business of renting out vehicles? Um, it feels like it's just seizing everything up and this is just simply a start. It could be a start to, uh, something that's going to be ever increasing in this new alternate reality that, uh, is appearing to not be real. Well, you know, Idaho's having a water problem. Well, they're not over here. This is Miniopa Falls. It, it, it's crazy what we're seeing in some parts of the world. Look at this. This is Matterhorn. Look at that. That that looks like it's, in my opinion, might be a little bit dangerous to even be on that train at this point in time. You know, there was insane flooding going on in um, Moscow, insane flooding in Moscow. Uh, we also have flooding going on in Mexico that was uh, just incredible. Uh, you know, you have cars swept away. And you have flooding in Chile over here as we're looking. This is Switzerland. You might think there was some sort of mud flood that was starting in. Might you not? All those rumors of mud floods. This is from Alberto, as you can see. Monterey, Mexico. This is the French and Swiss Alps. It looks muddy there. It, you know, what would it take? What would it take? It doesn't seem like it would take too much more than what we've had going on at this point in time, perhaps just a little bit more consistently. This is really a crazy world. This all seems to have started, in my mind, uh, to go crazy, that is, in this alternate reality back in 2017, around that first, that first eclipse. It's just, it's a mess out there. It's a mess. Uh, you know, it's interesting that skin cancer rates have skyrocketed 200% since the introduction of oxybenzone sunscreen. 
Now, the sun has been around for as long as we, uh, we have, uh, obviously. You know, <laughs> way before uh, modern medicine, way before uh, any sorts of sunscreen, we were living with the sun. I wonder what the cancer rates were back then. They say this is uh, simply a natural occurrence. Natural? I, it kind of feels like a giant wanted to see if he could do it, and it looks like he did it. It looks like he was very, very good at it in his alternate reality, making things up and making things appear to be what they are not. So I don't know. That's really kind of incredible. It's like he made a top and he set it precariously on all these little tiny pebbles. That's pretty good meditation. You know, you see people who do that rock stacking, which I think is very cool. And, and it is meditative. So this is what we have. We have a meditative giant um, stacking rocks. It's actually quite impressive. This is over in Arizona. This is Wilcox. And, and we've had some very good Mexican food back in earlier days over there. And I didn't know this was there. Otherwise, we would have went and taken a look. Um, this how in the world do they do this? Can you see through? I, I don't see. Is it a glass? Is it a mirror? Has to be, right? So who's the smart one that knows how they do this? Look, she's there. Or is it really her? Hmm. Maybe it was never her. Sleight of hand. This is exactly what the system does every single day. Every single day. You gotta watch really carefully. You have to pay attention. Look at this guy. He's so adorable. Oh my gosh. And he can't have it. Look at, he's asking, Mama, please. Isn't he precious? He thought he picked the right one, but yes, absolutely. And then that look on his face like, Oh, man, I should have picked the other one. As always, guys, you could always watch all the videos over on Patreon. Uh, there are exclusives that go up there, uh, usually two times, sometimes three times a week, uh, as there were, I think, three in maybe in the last six or seven days that went up over there that are exclusives. Much love, source bless, and namaste. Namaste.